must confess, I thought I should never escape your younger sisters. <laughs> they can be very determined. Lydia, especially. Oh, but they're pleasant girls. Indeed, I find that society in Hertfordshire quite exceeds my expectations. I don't see Mr. Bingley and his friends here this evening. I think some of Mr. Bingley's friends would consider it beneath their dignity. Really? Um, have you known Mr. Darcy long? About a month. I've known him all my life. We played together as children. But... Yes, you're surprised. Perhaps you might have noticed the cold manner of our greeting. I confess I did. Do you... Are you much acquainted with Mr. Darcy? As much as I ever wished to be. I've spent three days in the same house with him, and I find him very disagreeable. I fear there are few who share that opinion, except myself. But he's not at all liked in Hertfordshire. Everybody is disgusted with his pride. Do you know... Does he intend to stay long at Netherfield? I do not know. But I hope his being in the neighbourhood will not affect your plans to stay. Thank you. But it is not for me to be driven away by Mr Darcy. If he wishes to avoid seeing me, he must go. Oh, well, not on friendly terms, but I have no reason to avoid him but one. He has done me great wrong. His father, Miss Bennet, the late Mr. Darcy, was my godfather and one of the best men that ever breathed. My father was his steward. And when he died, old Mr. Darcy cared for me, um, provided for me, loved me, I believe, as though I were his own son. He intended me for the church. And it was my dearest wish to enter into that profession. But after he died, and the living he had promised me fell vacant, the son refused, point blank, to honour his father's promises. And so, you see, I have to make my own way in the world. This is quite shocking. I had not thought Mr Darcy as bad as this. To descend to such malicious revenge, he deserves to be publicly disgraced. Someday he will be, but not by me. Till I can forget his father, I can never defy or expose him. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder at the pride of this man. How abominable. You are more temperate than I should be in your situation. Well, I have not the resentful temper that some men have. And my situation, you know, is not so bad. At present, I have every cause for cheer. I cannot bear to be idle. And my new profession gives me active employment. My fellow officers are excellent men. And now I find myself in a society as agreeable as any I've ever known. You see, I absolutely forbid you to feel sorry for me. Lizzie? Lizzie, why should you feel sorry for Mr Wickham? Why? Because... Because I've not had a dance these three months together. <gasps> Poor Mr Wickham! Well, you shall have one now. <laughs> 